Welcome back, everyone. The final round of Girls State Golf took place earlier today, and here's how they finished. Dublin improved by nine strokes and Edwards by 21 strokes. Congratulations, girls. And in other high school results, Kirksville soccer fell to Marshall 4-0. Kirksville volleyball lost to Hannibal 2-0. In Tigers cross country, the girls finished fourth at the Autumn Classic in Mexico. Haley Dollins was sixth, Erica Wamering seventh, Carly Hayes 11th, and Andrew Gordon won the guys' race. Now let's turn to high school football, and Milan will take on rival Putnam County on Friday. And with the win, it wraps up much more than just an undefeated season. We'd like to finish off win the conference without sharing it. We want to make sure we're uh, continue to keep our one seed in the district, which is going to help us host games throughout the playoffs. And over in Putnam County, they know the challenges they face from a strong Milan team. The coach hopes the rivalry game will add to his team's motivation. It's pretty tough. They're a good team. Uh, they run the ball well and they play great defense. Um, you know, hopefully we're up for them. We, the kids are, I think the kids are, and hopefully we show up and, and play our best. The Midgets will be looking to hand Milan their first loss in the regular season in two seasons. The Schuyler football team is looking to keep a lock on the top three seed. After a comeback win over Knox last week, Colts Wadrick says he's hoping they can finish the season with the win and have a home game in the playoffs. Well, right now we're sitting in third place in our district, so uh, you know if we would lose this game, you know it could knock us down to fourth, and, and we don't, we definitely don't want that. You know we're five and three right now, we've been having a good year, so we're just looking to finish strong and uh, you know go into the playoffs with that three seed and, and host a host a first round game. They play two and six Scotland County Friday night. Now turning to softball, where Knox County advanced the state for the first time in nearly 30 years. This year's team has three girls on the team whose mothers played on the 81-82 team. All this has just come back, and I've got two other classmates that are our moms on the team, and we have had so much fun, and we are loving every minute. We are here from the other parents tomorrow. And due to the softball game, the Knox County football game will be moved to Thursday night at 7 o'clock.